Yes, Jimmy Jat is still with us, and uh, he's uh, Jimmy Amu. <laughs> Jimmy Adewale Amu. Mm, okay. Tayo. Was it? Was it last one? Those ones are my brothers. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want to explain the Jat. You all know him as Jimmy Jat. <laughs> yeah, I think it, I life, is, life is easy like that. <laughs> <laughs> so now let's talk about Nigerian music. Yeah. I'm sure that in the days when you began to DJ, mm -hmm. uh, you didn't have it the way you have it yes. now. Because there's so much music coming yeah. out of Nigeria. Yeah. What does that tell you about entertainment and the music industry in Nigeria? Okay, so I'm going to have to go back to when I started. Um, when, when I started DJing, we weren't playing Nigerian music at all. I'll be honest with you. I was more, you know, more Western. I mean, it was purely Western. The Shalamaz and all. You understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. And um, when myself and a few djs at the time started trying to infuse nigerian music into the mix mm. it was a very common thing for people to walk up to you and say hey, jimmy what's going on what's all this raw stuff oh dear. that used to be the you know the word mm. at that time you know i'm you you feel like man we need to you know push some of because oh, i came yeah. into djing from being an aspiring artist you know i was making demo tapes i was a rapper you know so i felt like you know we need to find that space but it wasn't you know people weren't giving it you know so at one point we just deliberately started you know whether you like it or not but it was it was very very minimal you know and then it went from you know there to gradually we, we started building I, I'll, I'll say probably the advent of uh, cds especially made us to be able to now produce Nigerian music on a level that could be played side by side foreign music because I think some, some part of it had to do with quality of production at the time you know so when the production was improving we could we could you know marry the old stuff and is the quality know, now well standard? Um, I, I'll say it's well standard you know but it could still be improved on in some areas I'm not not every I mean every people work in different areas some people you know just do stuff within their bedroom and put it out other people go into the main studio and try and get it done pro properly so um, but in terms of what we do right now the music is I mean you can play Nigerian like right you said you can play Nigerian music all night at the party right now as against in those days when you can't even play one mm. you know uh, but I, I, I look at that from two sides it's a good thing but it's not exactly the best thing as uh, on the other side because whatever you do you need to be able to m measure it by international standard mm. by world standard mm -hmm. you know so if we're playing just our music we're measuring ourselves by ourselves mm -hmm. you know and you need to be able to measure yourself by what's going on the in the world you know yeah. so um, sometimes I feel like we're we know a bit selfish and self-centered because we play more of our own stuff and ignore every other thing and but if everybody if, if everybody music yeah that's what i'm saying if everybody acts like that then that means nigerians will play nigerian music these other people will play their own music every other person and then the music doesn't get across right so for you to for you to i mean I mean, to expect your music to get into some other people's space. Mm. Sometimes you need to embrace what they have as well mm. and try and, you know, put everything together. So you, there's variety, there's a larger pool of music to work with. You know? Are they playing our music? Are they, how much are they? Oh, are they playing? Our music is being played everywhere. I mean, right now, I think, you know, musically, I think we're the next big thing, without a doubt. Mm. You know, but we, we just before we go, we just played a video there, or we showed a clip of a video with um, Waste Kid. Yeah. Some will call you old school, <laughs> but we notice that we're rounding up now. Yes. We notice that you've, you've infused, or mm. would I say infused, or you've brought these younger ones close to you, you work with them, and all of that. Tell us how, what's the plan um, going forward. When people talk about school, I, I'm always saying I'm the proprietor of the school. You know, so I'm not old school, new school, no school. I'm not, I, I'm, I own the school. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it, whether it's new, whether it's old. I'm like, I, the way I like to even look at myself most times is to say, you know, there was one time the island was the buzzing, I mean, the mainland was the buzzing. If you have to go clubbing in, in Lagos, for instance, you have to be in the Kaja and all those kind of places. Now, if you have to really go clubbing, you have to be on the island. Mm -hmm. I'm that third mainland bridge. Yeah, so, which is constantly needed whether you choose to be on the island or you choose so if it's cool if you call DJ you like that, you know I'm that bridge <laughs> we have to go we have to go thank yeah. you so much thank you very much for having me we hope to have you sometime soon when the school has always graduated. <laughs> and thank you for being with us this uh, Saturday morning. Uh, we'll see you again next week with a brand new edition. I'm Alero Do wishing you all the best and I'm Neil Taiwe. Bye bye